Hello my dear watchers and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to trigger pop-ups on your website to generate leads and promote your company offers. No matter you are an event organizer, content publisher, software developer or a service provider, you will need pop-ups to boost your sales and increase your website traffic. So let's do this with our pop-up box plugin. In this video tutorial, we will discuss all the pop-up triggers the plugin offers one by one. First of all, let us understand what is a pop-up trigger and what is the purpose of the pop-up trigger. A pop-up trigger is an event that makes your pop-up appear on your website and the plugin offers a variety of pop-up triggers which we will discuss one by one. So let's start. In order to make use of the pop-up triggers feature, you need to have the pop-up box plugin installed on your WordPress dashboard. I have already installed the plugin and created the pop-up so as not to waste your time. I have chosen the subscribe and get a file pop-up type and food template. So let us discuss how the pop-up triggers functionality works. Before discussing how the pop-up trigger feature actually works, uh, firstly we need to understand on what pages we want to display our pop-up. To show on what pages we want to display our pop-up, we need to refer to the display option. It has three checkboxes, all pages except and include. By ticking all pages checkbox, the pop-up will be displayed on all pages. By choosing accept checkbox, we will choose the post or a page excluding the pop-up. And with the include checkbox, we choose the post or a page including the pop-up. So we have decided to display our pop-up on pages and for this post particularly. After choosing on what page exactly we want to display our pop-up, we can pass on to the discussion of our pop-up triggers. For that, we scroll down a little bit to see the functionality, here it is. As you can see, the plugin offers a great variety of pop-up triggers you can use and we will discuss each of them one by one. So the first pop-up trigger is on page load pop-up trigger. This pop-up trigger displays the pop-up automatically on page load. Also, you can define the time delay of the pop-up, for that we go to the settings tab. And here we can see the open delay in milliseconds option. With the open delay in milliseconds option, we can display and open the pop-up when the visitor has viewed your website content for a particular period of time. If you don't want to have delay for the pop-up, just write zero or leave this input blank. So we have chosen on page load pop-up trigger and it's high time to see the pop-up on the front end. Don't forget to enable the pop-up. So we click on the save button to save our changes and see our pop-up on the front end. So here is our front end where the pop-up will be open on page load. So we check this, we refresh the page and the pop-up will appear for us. Here is our pop-up. So we displayed the pop-up on page load and we can pass on to the next pop-up trigger. So we can pass on to the next pop-up trigger which is on click pop-up trigger. As you can see by choosing the on click pop-up trigger another option appears for us which is the CSS selectors for trigger click hover. The on click pop-up trigger displays the pop-up when a user clicks on a targeted CSS element. We need to define the CSS element for the CSS selectors for trigger click hover option. I want to mention that you don't need to have any special CSS knowledge to manage this feature. So let's do this together. For that we go to the front end here. Let's imagine we want to open the pop-up by clicking on the preview demo button. As you can see, the button is not clickable for now. So what we need to do is to open the inspect element like this. Then we need to hover the button. This is the button by clicking on which we want to display our pop-up. So here we can see the class of the button and the ID of the button. Let's take the ID for an example. 
So we double click on the ID to copy it. Then we go back to our pop-up. And here we need to write the ID. Please note that in case of inserting the ID of your chosen button, we need to write the number sign here like this. Then the ID of your chosen button. In case of inserting the class of your chosen button, we need to write a full stop, then the class of your chosen button. In our case, we have chosen to write the ID of the button. So here it is. So we go back to our front end to check the pop-up. According to our settings configuration, the pop-up will need to be displayed after clicking on a preview demo button. So we click on this button to see the pop-up. Here it is. So together we have created a pop-up on button click. It's high time to pass to the next pop-up trigger. The next pop-up trigger we are going to discuss is both on page load and on click pop-up trigger. Again, we need to write the ID or the class of the button by clicking on which we want to open the pop-up. With the help of this pop-up trigger, the pop-up will be opened both on page load and on click. So we save the changes. On the front end, the pop-up must be opened both on page load and on clicking on a preview demo button. We check this, we refresh the page like this. Here is the pop-up on page load. We close this and we need to click on a preview demo button to open the pop-up on click. Here it is. As you can see, we can have the same pop-up opened on two triggers simultaneously on one page. It's a great chance to generate leads and increase the traffic of your website. Let's pass on to the discussion of the next pop-up trigger. Next pop-up trigger to discuss is the on-hover pop-up trigger. By choosing the on-hover pop-up trigger, the pop-up will be displayed when the user hovers on the particular element. Again, you need to specify the element by hovering which you want to display the pop-up. You need to configure this for the CSS selectors for trigger click hover option. As we have already made the settings configuration and have specified the element by clicking on which or by hovering which we want to display our pop-up, we can save the changes. So here is the front end and the pop-up will be opened by hovering the preview demo button. As we have specified the ID of this button for the CSS selectors option, we hover on the preview demo button and the pop-up is displayed. So let's discuss the next pop-up trigger. The next pop-up trigger is the exit intent pop-up trigger. If you choose the exit intent pop-up trigger, the pop-up will be displayed once your website visitor wants to leave the page. So we save the changes and check the pop-up on the front end. Here is our front end where the pop-up must be displayed once the user wants to leave the page. The system understands the user's intent to leave the website once the user holds the mouse out of the browser. For example, when the user holds the mouse on another tab like this. So we can pass on to the next pop-up trigger. The next advanced pop-up trigger the plugin offers is the inactivity pop-up trigger. If you choose this pop-up trigger, the pop-up will be opened in case there are no activities done within the particular time period. As you can see, another option appears while choosing the inactivity pop-up trigger, which is the show pop-up based on activity option. So in case the user, the visitor, doesn't do any activities within the time period in seconds you specify here, the pop-up will be displayed. So we can choose 5 seconds and save the changes. So here is our front end and if we don't do any activities within 5 seconds, the pop-up must be opened. So let's refresh the page and wait for 5 seconds.
So here is our pop-up. As we haven't performed any actions within this time frame, the pop-up was opened. So let's discuss the next pop-up trigger. So the next pop-up trigger is the after visiting X pages pop-up trigger. In case of choosing this pop-up trigger, the pop-up will be displayed when the user visits different pages. You can define the count of pages after visiting which the pop-up will be displayed for the show pop-up after visiting pages option. That means the pop-up will be displayed based on the count of the pages the user visits. Here we need to pay attention on one important factor. Please note that if you specify the count of pages after visiting which the pop-up will be opened here, you need to specify all these posts here as well for the include checkbox so that a functionality can work correctly for you. So we specify the pages where we need to display the pop-up, for example like this. According to our settings configuration, the pop-up must be open on these three pages. So we can save the changes. So we go to the front end to check the functionality. Here is one page where the pop-up is opened. Here is the second one. And here is the third one. That's all. So we can pass on to the discussion of the next pop-up trigger. So the next pop-up trigger is scrolling to element pop-up trigger. In case of choosing the scrolling to element pop-up trigger, the pop-up will be displayed once the user scrolls to that particular element. Again, you need to specify the ID or the class of the button for the scrolling to element option. The settings are the same as we did for the CSS selectors option. So we go to our front end and for example we want to open the pop-up by scrolling to preview demo button again. So we click on the inspect element and open it. Then find the preview demo button. Here we can see the class and the ID of the button. In our case we can choose the ID of the button. We copy the ID, then go back to our pop-up box dashboard. And here we write the ID in this way. Then we save the changes. Here is our front end where the pop-up must be displayed once we scroll down up to the preview demo button. Let's check it together. We scroll down and here is the pop-up. So we have discussed all the advanced pop-up triggers the plugin offers. So today together we have discussed all the pop-up triggers that are available in a pro version of the plugin. Please note that some of these pop-up triggers are available in a free version of the plugin as well. So you can also download the free version of the plugin and test the pop-up triggers available in a free version. So today together we have discussed all the pop-up triggers the plugin offers which will surely help you boost your website engagement and increase your website traffic. Thanks for watching us. Bye!